Hello everyone, welcome to Maui, baby. <laughs> this is your Money in Motion moment with Matt here. I'm sitting here in Maui with some of my closest friends, best friends, my mentor in business. Uh, this is the Paramount Financial Family. This is the Misfortune community here. I've got uh, Scott Reynolds to my right, Emron, Aaron, uh, Emron Andrew, and Douglas Andrew, uh, authors of the national bestsellers, Misfortune, Misfortune 101, the New York Times bestseller, Last Chance Millionaire, and the recently released Millionaire by 30. Scott, real quick, a financial tip for, for everybody to know. Um, what, what's been the problem with people investing lately, and how, how can people choose the right investment? What the We've actually heard from quite a few uh, bankruptcy lawyers, and they've said if people just had access to $10,000 of liquid money, that they would be able to get themselves out of many uh, situations that they find themselves in, whether invested heavily with real estate, stocks. And so we really find, and you'll find this all throughout Misfortune 101 through uh, Millionaire by 30, we really focus on three principles, liquidity, safety, and rate of return. And making sure that people have access to those types of investments that can yield them money when in case of an emergency, um, that their money is safe. Uh, we hear about banks today closing their doors and um, really earning a good rate of return. And we have that ability uh, within the misfortune concepts. Do you think people made a mistake when they went heavily on the stock market, heavily on real estate in the last five, ten years? Yeah, if everybody can at least have their very first investment be something that is liquid safe, earning a rate of return, then after they get that uh, settled, if they want to, and they want to be a little more risky, then they can go out into real estate, stocks, or whatever they find that they uh, really enjoy to invest in. Awesome. Uh, Emran, uh, people are graduating college today, young professionals. Uh, you wrote the book, Millionaire About 30. What's, what's advice you can give somebody graduating college today or a young professional starting off their career? You know what, one of the biggest things that uh, a lot of young people our age don't understand is how to pay yourself first. I mean, if you look among millionaires, they always discovered a way to discipline their budget to find a way to pay themselves first. I mean, we first read about the concept in uh, The Richest Man in Babylon. But uh, find a way to discipline your budget and find a way to pay yourself first. I mean, one common mistake I see a lot of young people my age and a lot of my peers make is that they may have a certain amount of debt. And although we want to, absolutely, I'm a big promoter of being out of debt. There's so many times people will try to get out of debt before they pay themselves first. One of the greatest ways to get out of debt is to pay yourself first. Mm -hmm. Earning that miracle of compound interest, put that on your side rather than on your on your creditor's side. Average college graduate graduates have got a lot of college debt. Yeah, uh, the average uh, the average individual uh, in this uh, country graduates with about twenty to thirty thousand dollars of of debt. Some obviously have hundreds of thousands. Some people just a, a few thousand. But the average of thirty thousand dollars of in student loans. Easily enough. I mean, if you're sending an extra hundred dollars a month, hundred fifty dollars a month towards uh, paying that loan off. That's an awesome. That's awesome to think of. But instead of sending it directly to the creditor, send that extra 150 bucks to yourself. Earn compound interest on it. You will have that student loan paid off faster, quicker. You'll have liquidity, safety, earning a rate of return, and it's the fastest path to a millionaire status. Talk to any millionaire, and they'll always have discovered a way to pay themselves first throughout their entire life. Absolutely. Read the book because not only does Emron and Aaron talk the talk, but they also walk the walk. Read about his millionaire fortune in his book. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. This is, again, your Money in Motion moment with Matt. Stay tuned to our radio show on Chicago's AM 560 WIND called Living the American Dream. Make sure you opt into our free 21-day transformation kit on MatthewSapala.com and check out their website at MissedFortune.com. Once again, that's MissedFortune.com. And if you haven't bought it yet, pick up Millionaire by 30. Take care and God bless you. Take care.